you can now play Dead by Daylight on the Steam Deck and it runs pretty damn well as well. As you can see, 60 frames per second here for the most part and at high settings as well. I was able to play a full survivor game, although I did end up being the only survivor that didn't survive. And I did also manage to play through an entire killer match where I only managed to kill one person. Definitely need more practice at this game, but at least now we can play. Bad news is you can't do this on the Steam version. You will need the Epic Game Store version and a little bit of work. If you try and run the Steam version, even with this fix, you'll get an easy anti-cheat type error, which is just a bit annoying. And same with the Epic Game Store directly version. So the first thing you need to do is head over to desktop mode and install Heroic Launcher. Now this has come a long way since the early days of the Steam Deck and it is really improved a lot. So head over to the Discover Store and search for Heroic and it should be the top answer once it loads. Just click on that and hit the install. As you can see, I've already got it installed. Once that's installed, don't launch it just yet. Head over to your Steam library. And hit add a game in the bottom left. Add a non-Steam game. Look for the Heroic Games launcher in the list here. And then say add selected programs as we want this for game mode in a little while. Now you can launch Heroic Launcher directly as normal and sign in through the Epic Games Store in the store link here and install Dead by Daylight if you've purchased it or purchase it and then install it once you've gone through all of the authentication. I did have an issue where my library just disappeared while I was looking at this in desktop mode. So be aware that that might happen and you either need to restart the Heroic Games Launcher or do what I did and just switch over to game mode. So over in game mode, this is an optional step. If you've got Decky Loader installed, go and grab the Steam Grid DB plugin if you haven't already. And then you can just quickly set the artwork for the Heroic Games Launcher here. If you hit this change artwork, there's tons of capsules, Y capsules and heroes already available. So you can quickly set those and dive in. Now, important to note, it did ask me to log in again when I got into game mode, but because I'd already done this in desktop mode, although I had to click the Epic Games login, I didn't actually physically have to log in again and it did log me in. But now you can head to your library and it's much more manageable with a controller in game mode. I can go and install the Epic Game Store version of Dead by Daylight. And this did take a little bit of time and beware, I did pause this and exit out of game mode and I did actually have to do a full login the next time I came back in because my credentials were invalid in the Heroic Launcher, so just be aware of that. Take a note of your install path, I did change mine to my SD card so that I could use up more space. Once that's installed, you want to head over to the game properties of Dead by Daylight in Heroic Launcher and make sure that you tick the easy anti-cheat runtime box. Now I was using Proton Experimental for this, so this is working with that without any extra installs. So make sure you've got easy anti-cheat runtime installed, but don't run it just yet, otherwise you will still get that EAC error. Now you'll need to go back to desktop mode, find your install folder for Dead by Daylight. As you saw, I installed it to my SD card, so I'm in my SD card path here for Dead by Daylight. And you want to copy the easy anti-cheat folder, which is at the top level of the Dead by Daylight install. Then you want to go into the Dead by Daylight directory, binaries, EGS, and then paste that whole folder in here next to where the Dead by Daylight EGS shipping.exe is. Once you've done that, you're good to go. Now go and launch the game in game mode or in desktop mode and you'll get through into the game with no more errors and you'll be able to play in lobbies without getting kicked for anti-cheat. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this or if you're going to hold out for a Steam version fix. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.